let's just start by uh, giving an introduction about yourself and, and a little bit about what you're doing with Vector Point Ventures. Great to be part of this uh, dynamic panel and uh, really excited about all the in in innovation and partnerships that have happened since JP Morgan. Um, so basically, I can say that I was, I'm was i a serial entrepreneur with a corporate finance background who became an angel investor. And I also uh, was joined VectorPoint Ventures three years ago as a managing director. We're standing up an impact investment fund with a thesis to invest in seed and life science, seed and growth stage life science and clean tech companies. My overriding passion is uh, solving global health problems. And to that point, I, I am delighted to be part of this ecosystem, as well as I um, recently joined the board of nbraincancer.org and spend about 20% of my time on boards of nonprofits. That's amazing. And can you, uh, you mentioned JP Morgan, uh, you know, something that we're discussing and, and obviously you have uh, experience in these trade shows and going to them and CES and I'm sure many others. How do you specifically, you know, navigate those conferences to kind of maximize your exposure time and really create valuable connections that will last beyond those, uh, you know, short time spans for the conferences? So I did, uh, I have a lot of experience in trade shows going back as a principal doing the big health shows in Canada, mostly, and some in the U.S. And so I guess you start with the end in mind. What First of all, identify what is your objective, what's your company's objective, is it all of the above? Is it networking with industry partners? Is it uh, you know networking with resources? Is it industry knowledge? Is it um, meeting uh, potential clients, i.e., seed and sage uh, sage stage, uh, early stage companies? So really, it's really the focus and really having an outline and a strategy fully in mind. And to that extent, being able to navigate the platform. And getting in information in terms of who are the attendees, who are the speakers, uh, who who are all the people in the room, and really identifying who the key people are that you would like to um, uh, uh, reach out to, hopefully in advance to set up meetings, but also leaving white space so you're not too rushed to really make it quality time with each of the introductions that you make. I love trade shows because they put everybody in the same room. And I do believe they're incredibly important to solving the big problems that we have on global health. Yeah, especially in this kind of remote uh, or newly remote minted environment where a lot of people uh, may not interact with people uh, in the room, so to speak, you know, bringing people together that that value add has only gone up with with this remote uh, you know, world that we're working in. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, your company and how, you know, you provide capital. Uh, but what else do you do to add value to your portfolio companies? How do you contribute to their growth and their success? Well, I'm incredibly lucky because um, the other uh, managing director who invited me in, the founder, Don McGrath, has an incredibly diverse background in private equity and in um, reviewing cap tables and the and the geeky stuff. So I think, you know, bringing all of our expertise to bear is really important. I look at it as we're almost incubating a company. So when I was an entrepreneur, even though I had a great who's who on my board, it was really who are the strategics that can really propel my message if I'm the entrepreneur? Who who are the key people that may or may not want to be um, advisors, mentors? And recently I was able to bring a, a key board advisor, part of my ecosystem to a company that we were investing, a medical device diagnostic company. So those resources are incredibly important. Also having a clear knowledge of the landscape and what are the trends. So to that extent, I try to do an hour of research every day and be on as many investor events as possible because you can't know everything, but there are certainly a lot of people in the room that we can reach out to and say, we are speaking with this company, can you help us? And there's a lot of organizations and foundation funding as well that I'm a firm believer in non-dilutive funding at, a, at the seed stage for a company. If you could 
uh, just give us a, a quick rundown. You know, you obviously you're very, uh, you're very connected to the the funding ecosystem, and uh, you spend a lot of time talking to folks. And and you know, with J.P. Morgan and CES winding up, and and what you've seen, if you could, you know, particularly in women's health, um, talk a little bit about how you suggest uh, these folks in women's healthcare, especially maximize their partnership opportunities. Uh, with investors and other types of collaborators. Know that you're in the right room. There are a lot of us that are absolutely committed committed to ensuring that women's health, we move the needle on improving women's health. It's about time. So find those investors that are really passionate. Even if they if you're too early, uh, find key people in the audience are willing to help, mentor you, advise you, make connections, ask for help. And ask for advice, you get money. And ask for money, you get advice. That's brilliant. Well, really appreciate you joining and uh, just phenomenal work that you're doing. We applaud you and all the efforts that you're putting into improving the healthcare system, the life science system through digital and certainly women's health tech. Thank you very much, Jillian. Thank you. It's a pleasure.